What's up guys, this is Boomshanks with Active Radar and we're back with the Uncharted 4 speedrun. Uh, though we can probably call this a failed speedrun by now because I fucked up somewhere, especially in the middle. So right now I have about 70 minutes <clears throat> to complete about 6 chapters and it took me like almost 5 hours to complete the first 16 chapters. So <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is probably not going to end well. But fuck it, we're going to we're going to keep going with it anyway. <laughs> because we're also going for the accuracy sp accuracy run, having an accuracy above uh, 70%. So if we can't get the speedrun trophy right now, we'll just go for the accuracy and then uh, on the bike. Now, come on. Yeah, I guess do the speedrun again. Um the idea before the idea for that is that um, we just do the speed run in one entire sitting. Just go through the entire thing in one sitting, just me and a friend, and then we just do it together. Uh, we sort of thought about that because I don't think either of us really has any confidence in <laughs> in this speed run. And if you're looking at this and you're seeing it on YouTube, it it probably says failed speed run um, as the title. And I feel like these intros have been getting darker and darker, like, as this as this speedrun is progressing. <laughs> like, I started out very hopeful, and then it just got more like, hmm, maybe we can make it, and then it's going to be very difficult to make it to, we, we're probably not going to make it. Um, so yeah, that's where we are right now. Um, I watched a playthrough, like, I'm not going into this as unprepared as I was in the beginning. Uh, I watched a playthrough by a guy who, I don't know, I think he did like the entire thing in about four hours. Um, and even he, it took him like uh, some time to get all of this done. So, <laughs> but yeah, still, I, I do really like this game, so it's not really, it's not that bad of a thing to have to, to... Do this entire playthrough again, especially since the, we have the idea of doing it within six hours, just the entire thing in one go. So that's something uh, I'm actually quite looking forward to that as well. So not having made the speed run isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like if I did this on my, if I did this on my own account uh, and I didn't get the play, I didn't get the speed run trophy, I would probably be pissed. But somehow it can. I can take it uh, here. So yeah, I watched I watched him do these chapters, uh, and I'm curious how much I'm gonna remember of it all. I do know you have to sort of skip all the optional conversations, because that guy he did it in like four hours, and he had the perfect run uh, for everything. He knew exactly where to go, which is something I don't know like at all. So I'm curious to see how much of it I remember. Uh, but yeah, it should go a lot faster than what it's done before. Because especially those those middle chapters, they took a lot of time with me. Uh, and I've picked up the pace since then, you know. Uh, it's gone faster, but I think I just... I ruined too much time in the middle to, for this to be able... For this to be viable still, so to speak. But yeah, as I said, we're going to trudge through it. We're going to continue... Along with this, I, can boost you up there. Great. I don't know. Once you start something, you have to finish it, and that's what Whoa. that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> it's always tempting with these things to just stand directly under everything. Now, in this part, you just have to wait. <clears throat> for, you have to wait for Elena to push the box, or be better yet, to push the cart with weevils, uh, to push that down. <clears throat> now these parts, this is chapter 17, that room right now, and I'm not really sure where the, the, the gap between 17 and 18 is. Uh, I think it's actually at the elevator. And uh, I don't mean the elevator encounter, but just the elevator um, in general, where you're with Elena and you have this really touching moment. I think these are actually the longest chapters that we have to do now. Let's see. Place that in front of here. And we're good to go. 
That was that was probably poorly. That's better. Or not. Wait, really? Oh, do I have to go around this? Ha ha ha. Never mind. Okay. I got this. I got this. Hey, nice job. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, but how do you like my my running on a tree? Okay, so let's just do this. It's a, oh my god. Don't worry, this was all planned. See, I can... Oh, 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 <laughs> I thought I pressed... I thought I pressed square there, but apparently I didn't. So this was the part I was... I probably can. Well, maybe the elevator still works. I doubt it. 300 years old. Yeah, it's gonna work. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this was the part I was sort of dreading. Not just the the um, the combat sections here, which the the elevator section for <laughs> for combat is just a absolutely brutal here. It's it, it that's the part on crushing that I'm really not um, not looking forward to. But it's more the, the traversal here, because I remember with the car you have to get that in the elevator. And if I remember correctly, I got lost there, like either on my own playthrough or in the Let's Play here. So that's sort of... On this playthrough, like, I can't afford to get lost at all anymore. I probably, even if I do everything here correctly, I won't get the speedrun, but I do want to know... Uh, let's get the Baroque. Um, I do want to sort of keep it within a certain time. So, oh god, are you kidding me? Oh, I, do, I do have a gun. Okay, so now it's time to, to get it. Um, yeah, Baroque. And... Infinite ammo. Done. Okay. Nice move. Okay, so um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying, but. Now then, which way is the car? It'll be easier to spot from higher ground. Right. Good idea. Uh huh. Yes. Shit. Am I lost? <laughs> that was sort of. The, I think that was what I was just saying, right? Like, um, I really can't afford to lose any more time, like, at all. Uh, even if I do everything perfectly, I probably still won't be able to to get the speedrun in time, but I want to try and keep it within a certain degree. Like, if I'm... Wait, that just gets me at the exact same place. Um, I want to try to keep it, like, within something like 20, 30 minutes over time. That would be... That would be acceptable, so to speak. Um, um, because then, if if we are about 30 minutes over time, uh, then we should be able to get it next time. Like, it should be pretty easy. Now, I know you can skip this, but I'm just gonna not skip this and just kill everyone. Because I think the time it would take me to skip this is about the same as just doing it normally, so... Here we go. Oh shit, there's a... Oh, that's a... It's a dude! I'm just gonna hang out here if you don't mind. That should be the last one. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, as I tried to say, um... You can skip it, but I think the time it took me here is about the same if you... Then if you skip it, so... If anything, that's really not the place where I can save the most time. <coughs> now there should be a trophy here uh, you see a way out? for Up getting away here without There's an opening by the falls. without killing anyone. But that's probably you have to not kill anyone trying to get to the car and then drive away without killing anyone. Oh, which, like, I failed that right away, but I wasn't going for it either. Um. Okay, so yeah, this thing just doesn't move like at all right now. 
massive. I think you yeah, sort of have to look at that. To the then let's get up there. Okay, let's do this. I know. So I know the question. way. No, apparently Why I don't know. That. I think I, l I looked all of this up, but if you look at it just once, and then the uh, the areas are pretty massive, so it's hard to figure all of that out. I'm pretty confident, though, that... Oh, wh uh, what? Do I have to... It is so tempting to jump this. Wait, am I... Am I lost? No! It's probably just going up here. And then to the left, I guess. Oh yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, so next time we're going to do it, it's going to be the two of us. And the beauty behind that is now that now I know everything, like where we have to go, there's going to be very few uh, wrong turns, so, so to so speak. Good. Keep heading upstream. Yeah, I have to. Write a killer article about all I saw the dude going here, so I'm gonna just follow yeah, that. Um, but yeah, you know, one can just do the playthrough, and the other can look everything up, and then what I thought about was just switching it up, like every every chapter or something so like that. Why do you think Sam didn't come straight to you after Rafe got him out of prison? Like this. So yeah, I just switch it up every chapter or so. So the first person does chapter one, and then the other person does chapter two, and then sort of. Do it like that. And then we can always at least have the solutions to everything. Especially to the platform. Yeah, can I drop the car there? Or? Oh, never mind. Never mind! I thought, you know, it was a speedrun. I could just drop the car there and have it uh, perfectly fine. So this is the part that I was dreading. But I th Oh, wait, no. I think I know how to do this. These are the things like in a let's play, the first time you play it, especially, or if you haven't played it like in a long time, then you won't really know what to do here, and this just costs a lot of time. But that's why I looked this up. It's mostly just going into the speedrun completely unprepared in the beginning that sort of cost me <laughs> be around. But fuck it, it was fun anyway. <laughs> it is so tempting to stand stand under that, but you're probably just gonna die then. Thank you! How's that? Great so architecture. Thank you. Oh, no. It's a bit of an overkill though, but still appreciate it. Well, let's see. Aha! Yes! Okay. There it is! I really wish we'd, we'd kept count of how many of these things there are. This must be like about the ninth or tenth of these things that we're using. <laughs> Man, they did love their cart with wheels back in the day. Okay, let's just reload. You never know when you're gonna need it. This is. I think we're we're getting close. To, we're getting close to the elevator fight right now. Uh, now that is the fight. Like this. Of course, this is in survivor difficulty, so it's not going to pose any problems, but it's the fight I'm dreading in uh, in crushing difficulty. Because I do want to try to do crushing difficulty, like, um, without any cheats. I want to try to do that. Uh, and this is the, probably the most difficult part in the entire game, so really not looking forward to that. But then you can see the difference between how it is on survivor. <laughs> And I'm crushing. There we go. So, so far, th the chapter is going really well. It's going fast enough. I'm it's just the, winch now. Okay. the part in the beginning that tripped me up. Especially, I think, if anywhere I lost a lot of time, it was those chapters 10, 11, and 12. Like, that playthrough just... Ugh, that was not good. Got him! Oh. Done. So get the car and... Okay, it's on move. It's nothing. <laughs> I wonder if he just, like... If he just fell, and then that would be the end of the game. 
Like, Elena would go up there alone, and Nate would just be down there like, Okay, let me know how it went. Maybe we need to skip the cutscene. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so... This is what I was talking about, but... Alright, I know one. Two. Oh, I love... Three. Four. Five. I don't think they spawn indefinitely, do they? I don't think so. Come on, can I? Oh. Ugh, let's go. Okay, where are you there? It's the auto aim that really makes this a breeze. I remember hating this part so much. Okay, where are you? There and there. Nice one. Okay, let's see. I guess. It's just going up as much as possible. As fast as possible. Is that jumpable? <laughs> no. <laughs> God damn it. So you should probably do the restart checkpoint thing then, but uh, we're pretty much at the exact same place. Oh, ha ha. That's funny. Oh. It's just, it's extra annoying since they're shooting at you from above and it's just really can I oh fuck am I really ah oh, he could he would live he would live through that he's seen worse okay get back on the elevator so let's try to take this a bit more slowly I guess I think it is going up, it's just difficult to see it. Okay, so now... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Why does it look like it's so grabbable when you can't even reach that fucking thing? That is, that is just fucking mean. You can see the edge, just... The edge, it was looking at me. It was saying, like, climb me, but... The only real risk of dying is just me failing the platforming sections. I guess I just have to jump straight ahead now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, they really just don't want you to go the other way. Oh. Let's fuck up the accuracy a bit as well. Yeah, I want to keep the Barak because it's a one-hit kill weapon. So if there's anything... I hope they don't mind if I reload a bit. Okay, where are you? Wait, it was... Oh, he was just floating there. Oh, god damn it. Yo, where are they shooting her from? Okay, I got this, got this. Well, that's... Holy shit. Are you okay, Nate? Yeah, yeah, I'm I okay. Or, I didn't even need to go here. No, no. You drive. You sure? You seem to be doing fine. Okay. Da, 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 da. I do not want to look at the statistics right now. So, I thought the... I thought the final chapters would be a lot smaller, or a shorter, than they actually are. <laughs> I thought like, ah, oh, the end, that's just Libertalia, like, you can you can get through that incredibly quickly. But then, I think we're still in chapter 17. Uh, yeah, no shit. guess we gotta cross these rapids. This car come with life jackets? Let's find out! Oh, what? I can't? I was so ready to do that. It's probably better that <laughs> we couldn't be. Okay, so you just need to, from what I remember, stick to these things as much as possible. And then go through the rapids here to get to the other side. Whoa, hang on. No problem. Ah, there. I got control again. Okay, so we got this. But yeah, chapter 17 is... Uh, it's longer than I thought it would be. Yeah, I know how to do this. 
I remember more from that from seeing that walkthrough than I thought I would actually. Um, because you watch like uh, like an hour or something after each other, uh, or l let's say 40 minutes, uh, and I thought, yeah, by the time I'm getting there, I will have completely forgot about everything. Um, but as I said, I remember more than I thought I would. Okay, let's go. Oh, here we go. Got it. Now this might actually be the end of chapter 17. I think we did this, we didn't lose a lot of time here. And from what I remember, chapter 18 is, is especially short. Uh, wow, did I park the car like that well? I would have expected this thing to just fall on their heads, like... I don't know, you sort of expect everything to not work out in these Uncharted games. No. Damn it. That was close. Okay, apparently you needed to have a longer run there <laughs> than what I did. Now you can see this part behind them that you can get up there pretty much. Oh, really? Do I have to go from here? Cuz that that's what I thought in the beginning, like I had to get from here and then Watch this. Let's do this. Oh shit, Hang this on. thing is... Oh, nah. We did it. You sound surprised. Yeah, this thing is not driving as, as well as I thought it would. Okay. Um, yeah, so far, so good. And we're up. Uh, let me think. Probably here. Uh... I do like that you get to uh, drive around with a car like it's something that they use quite a lot in this game more than they, than I thought they would like it was it was in Madagascar and then I thought like maybe this is the only time that they use it but they actually use it throughout the game which is good it's better it's better to have a game like have it have a few new mechanics but use them throughout the entire game and then ju just have a bunch of new mechanics and use all of them only once. So yeah, I'm glad that they did that. Um, not just in Madagascar, which I think Madagascar has to be one of my favorite chapters, like chapter 10. Uh, but I'm glad they, they picked it back up here. Because my memory might be really bad, but I can't remember there being any driving sections in... Uh, in the previous Uncharted games. Okay, let's do this. That must have been chapter 17. So five chapters to go. Maybe chapter 18, I think it starts at the the top. Top of this elevator. Now, of course, this is something that we can't skip. Uh, I think out of all the... Um, this might sound really strange, but out of all the moments from... Postcard. Uncharted 4. This is actually one of those moments that I remember yeah, the most. Uh, that I loved blues. the most. Um, <laughs> especially the part after this with just the music. You'll see it uh, or you'll hear it so after this. Hmm? Yeah, I named it Failed Speedrun. I, I, I sort of... I tried to get ahead of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this is actually one of the moments. It's it's kind of strange because you you think the giant set pieces are what you remember most from Uncharted, but just this moment between Nate and Elena and uh, the music afterwards is uh, what I remember most. Uh, hi, Quirks. <laughs> so uh, Quirks here to see the final, the ending of the failed speed run. I think he just wanted to watch me uh, here. go over the six, this? go over the six hours. I'll see. It'll, this is the you beginning of chapter 18, I think. So I'll look at the statistics uh, soon. See how we're <laughs> how, how we're doing. Is this nope? No matter what it is, you're supposed to come to me so that we can work through it. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Shut up. As a team. <laughs> Shut up, Elena. I'm in a speed run. We're do, we're going to talk about this when we're when we're back. Yeah, it says you got this, but I uh, he's more more confident than I am. 
Because I, I said this before, I looked up, uh... Oh god. Come on! I looked, uh, I looked up a speedrun of a guy who did it in like four hours. And, uh, those, those final... Those final chapters Stop. where I am now... Uh, oh, this music. I fucking love it. Um... Yeah, those final chapters, uh, that I'm doing now, they took him about 60 minutes. And I have 70 minutes to get... To get all of those chapters done. So I'm not feeling very confident uh, there. But I'm still really, really enjoying this playthrough. It's, uh... I think it's been over a year since I've played this game. Even on my other account, we just, uh... We played the, uh... The survival pack that came out, where you had all the survival missions. Um, those we played quite a lot, but I didn't play anything of the story after having played through it once on my own account, so I don't even have the Platinum there or any of the other uh, miscellaneous trophies, so to speak. Okay. I did sort of miss, I, I think we're not in Chapter 18 yet, so this is still Chapter 17. I'll see the, I'll check the statistics as soon as Chapter 18 starts. I don't want to spoil how horribly I'm doing uh, beforehand. We'll try. Over and out. That's probably not where we have to go. Okay. Okay. Should be on the other side of the bridge. Aha! This I remember. One funny thing. I mean, the guy. Uh, Turn around. We're heading for the falls. Turn around. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it my driving that sucks here? I don't even I don't even think you have that much of an influence here. I'm pushing something just just because but <laughs> Oh wait, I do have to press like screen. I got this. I got this. It is nothing. Rip car. He was like the best oh shit. That car was like the best supporting character in the entire series. Oh, come on, really? Oh. Yeah, no shit, what do you think I'm doing? I think maybe the tree just only falls down once you're... Uh, like it only falls down when you press X. Like you have, you probably have more time than you think. Uh, there we are, I knew this was a cinematic. <clears throat> okay, let's see, chapter 18. Come on, chapter 18. Nah, this has to be chapter 18. Fuck it, I'm gonna just look at the statistics anyway. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's just say that this is chapter 18, then I only have 45 minutes to complete five chapters. At least we're on the right side of the river now. Yeah. yeah. That would have been bad. Yep. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, never mind. This is <laughs> easy. GG. I, I, I got this. I got this. 45 minutes to complete five chapters. Well, it took me about... It took me more than five hours to complete um, 17 chapters. <laughs> Maybe climb? Like, that's... It's what you do, Nathan. Got as well. Thank you for the for the support. I'll do my best, but I, if I say I'm gonna make promises, that that would be a lie. Ha! That was uh, planned, obviously. Okay, I think I got this. It's so maybe we can come back here on a vacation, huh? Maybe. Really? Is that just? Am I stuck again? Tell me I'm not stuck again. Uh, this is looking promising. Really, it's the platforming. Just out of all the things, it's the thing, <laughs> the thing that I thought would cause me the least problems is actually causing me the most problems. Okay. See this? Ah, uh, just a bunch of dead people. 
not pay too much attention to them. Hello? Oh, hello. Yeah, not gonna investigate any of you. Already know you're dead. Oh, this is uh, the interesting part. Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. A little bit of disrespect, though. Okay, got this. Quirk says, how's Mod Nation Racers going? <clears throat> Still gonna make it because uh, I'm actually trying to get the Mod Nation Racers Platinum and there's... because uh, the servers are closing down which is usually my number one reason for really going after a Platinum <laughs> if the servers are gonna be shut down. Uh, for Mod Nation Racers they're gonna be shut down in about uh, one month and one week and Oh, that's for chapter 18. That's one way to quash a um, actually, I only need two more trophies. So I'm I'm nearly done with Mod Nation Racers. Unfortunately, uh, one of the trophies that I need is getting in the top 10%. Uh, getting in the top 10% of the hot lap. I still need that one. But I figured, I know, I know how I am. I just... First, I need to complete everything else just to get my mind clear of all the other trophies that still need doing. So I'm going to complete everything else. And oh god, really? And then I'm going to just go for the ha for the hot lap because then I'll have about one month and one week to complete the hot lap. So that should be doable. But it's uh, it's one of the more annoying trophies that hot lap one. It's actually anyone who says. Mod Nation Racers is an easy platinum. I really have to disagree with you there. But I'm probably gonna make it. There we go. <clears throat> it's certainly more difficult than Uncharted, which you wouldn't say after like failing a speedrun, but <laughs> that looks like a cutscene. So yeah, I'm probably gonna make that. Um, like Mod Nation Racers, it has like uh, 28. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, it's into the 8th pond. Eight. Uh, let me see. It has about 28 races, and every race, is ha every race has uh, three missions that you have to do, and every race has a fastest time that you have to get, and every race has tokens that you have to collect. So you have to do that for each of the 28 races. Um, in campaign. Now I have everything except two missions so out of the 84 missions that there are I only need two more and then I have uh, everything from single player. So it's actually not that bad. Oh that was... <laughs> that went better than expected. So I'm probably gonna make it but then I have even better news because the... Here. Watch your head. Let's see, the uh, online portion of Guitar Hero Live is actually also uh, stopping. And that's uh, that's going to end on the 1st of December. And the, and the Guitar Hero Live Platinum, that's a grind of about, I think, what was it? Like about uh, 50 hours, something like that. Um, <laughs> so that's going to end on the 1st of December. So right after completing Mod Nation Racers, I'm going to have to go straight through to... Um, to Guitar Hero Live. <laughs> so I'm not out of the woods yet. I have like two upcoming server failures. Really? Here, I think I was playing it for fun. Well, you know how I am with games like this. Like, with Mod Nation Racers, I, I bought that like pretty quickly after release, actually. I, I think it released in about. 2010 and I bought it quite quickly and then it just uh, it sort of failed to deliver the loading times were fucking horrendous like really they were horrendous you had to wait like a minute to get into one race uh, oh this is not really where I want to be right now so sort of oh, so sort of stopped playing it after that and then once the servers uh, once it was announced that, announced that the service got shut down, then I started playing it quite a lot, and I actually started enjoying it more than I ever had when there wasn't any time pressure at all, so... <laughs> I, start, I start enjoying these games once there's a time pressure to complete them, <laughs> apparently. Because the same happened, uh, or once I really go for the Platinum. 
And I swear to God, sometimes I fucking hate those games. Especially with Mod Nation Racers. Some of those missions were just completely unfair. Really? Now you spot me? That's it. You okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, some of those missions in, uh, in Mod Nation were really, really unfair. So at the moment I hate them, but in the I end I do really like the game. <laughs> it's sort of a love-hate relationship that I have with it. Um, so yeah, but in the end I... Uh, I, I did like my time with uh, Mod Nation Racers actually. <laughs> Which I never would have, would have uh, expected. Or oh, really, I swear to God, I would have to get in there. Ah, very clever. So clever. So how about you? Are you going for a platinum at the moment, or are you just like playing through a number of different games and not really caring about trophies anymore? I'm curious because I I don't think I really saw you going for a platinum or anything uh guacamole. Oh right, you only needed the you only needed to complete it on one difficulty, right? Oh, crap. How many people did you bring here, Nadine? Like on the hardest she difficulty? Well, that's it for this video. If you want to see what happens next, you can click on the video to the left. And if you want to watch a playthrough from a completely different game, you can check out the video on the right. As always, thank you so much for watching.